Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Walmart and I got some news for you. Uh, a couple of you have asked in comments what this lighthouse is over here and let me turn the camera around. All right, so there it is right over here. Let me zoom in for you. It reminds me of the lighthouse in Jupiter, Florida. So it says Providence on it uh, on the top and it says it down the side in black writing. Take a look at those mountains, by the way. Uh, Tammy and I just stopped our third session of walking uh, today. We, I didn't even carry my phone when I was on the golf course, but uh, we have over our 10,000 steps, over five miles of walking today. So that's, that's very good. And we were enjoying, see the shade is all the way out at the end of the parking lot. Now, when we started walking, the shade was about halfway out here. And I just can't tell you how fantastic nice weather feels. So when the sun goes down 6,000 feet here in Cedar City, it's just absolutely amazing. The golf course, just beautiful. A nice stiff breeze actually, but it was very comfortable. It didn't play with the ball too much. Uh, it did have effect on it though. But anyway, I want to talk about this lighthouse. So I saw it said Providence on it and I Googled it and Tammy read a little bit for me. And believe it or not, there is only theory as to, no one knows. Um, one is it came from a, uh, the European area somewhere over there and was rebuilt kind of like they did uh, the um, London Bridge in Lake Havasu. The next theory is it's 88 feet tall. Let me zoom in for you. And it's claimed to be by the builders or whoever at the time, the tallest lighthouse in the United States that's inland. Uh, this lighthouse is 450 miles from the nearest ocean and it never had a light in it or a lighthouse, you know, tender uh, person in there. All right, that's theory two. The, the last one is, <laughs> you're gonna love this one, that it was built and in the event of an earthquake in California, that this would be the new coastal lighthouse on the Pacific Ocean, which would be coming up to about right here somewhere <laughs> because California would fall into the uh, ocean. So there you go. And if you Google it, uh, lighthouse, Providence Lighthouse. You, you can tell me in the comments if you find something different. Providence Lighthouse, Cedar City, Utah. What is the meaning? When was it? Oh, and it was built in 2000. So that's the, uh, that's the scoop on that. So 24 years ago, that was built. And I would almost imagine this town 24 years ago of course, nothing that you're looking at in this viewfinder right now was here. This is all new. Almost all the homes that are around here and down the road, all those new ones that we uh, videoed. And maybe only a little bit of what's down on Main Street uh, where the laundromat is that I videoed. Uh, it was, of course, it wasn't there, the laundromat. It was something else. They even told me that it was uh, the whole building was something. And it was just too many, um, too much square footage. So they, they diced it up and they were able to open up the laundromat there. But yeah, 25 years ago and now uh, it grew slowly. And of course now the people in St. George, it's a hop, skip and a jump up the road here, especially going back to St. George are, you know, moving up here left and right because they can work down there and enjoy the cooler air up here because it's like night and day uh, from here in St. George. However, St. George is one of the top uh, growing cities, according to my uh, co-pilot, John, that sent me some emails, uh, one of the top and Cedar City in the United States of America. And that actually um, St. George, no, um, Sarasota, uh, where we're from and want to return potentially or the villages is um, outgrown and outpaced for the last 13 years, Las Vegas. 
So interesting fun facts about communities and where people are migrating to and what's going on uh, since the um, pandemic and you know all this inflation and you know all this crazy stuff going on. Someone wrote in comments that they don't think that houses will ever come down and they'll maintain around the four hundred and fifty thousand um, dollar you know national average. Well, that would be just too bad because <laughs> the deal is, I see Miss T coming. Um, we'll walk up here towards where the uh, crusher is. The deal is, the average uh, American makes thirty grand a year, and there's two numbers. There's a fifty. 59 grand a year and there's a 30 grand a year if you divide you know every swing and uh, pecker head around in, a, in America you get 30 grand and then the median household income is $75,000 so either way you dice it you're not or I should say you ain't coming up with an approval on your loan application for a $430,000 or even a $400,000 home unless you have got you know a lot of money down and something else so after everybody sells all their houses in california and new york and all those cash buyers run out and the houses become more plentiful as uh, i've been hearing they are uh, in places like um, sarasota then uh you know northport and those areas then you know that's what that's what will bring prices down is inventory supply and demand supply and demand it's a very simple thing so now uh switching gears before we end the video uh it's fourth of july and so i saw them putting these tents up the other day look at all the fireworks in this container they get the thing open that they bring them in and they're selling them and I don't know what they do at night. They put them in there or what do they do? But um, the wind has been so stout that they've got these big cement blocks and tons of them. They're not going to blow. That tent isn't going anywhere. It doesn't even move. But people are coming in here throwing down their hundreds uh, for their firecrackers. And people like it. People do it. I'll just watch and catch the show. Right now, we're going to head back to the uh, Orchard RV Park and crush it.